Hello people from the internet, hello everyone, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, um, whichever one applies, thank you for stopping by, thank you for watching, I appreciate um, the consistency and I hope you enjoy the content that I, um, that I like to create. Uh, today we're gonna finish the character that I started a week ago, uh, I wanted to finish it on like Thursday and stuff, but... I've not been feeling so good. I don't know why. Um, on on Tuesday, I ended the stream early. I figured out that I had like a like a visual migraine. I've heard I've heard it defined like that before uh, by another streamer who also has like the same kind of issue every now and then. Um, so yeah, I had one of those. After that, I just have I was I was just knocked out. Hello, uh, Reaper Fallen. Good to see you around. Thank you for stopping by. I've been seeing you on the on the Discord uh, for for the roguelikes, the dungeon crawl, stone soup. Good to see you back on the game. Uh, do you have in, Do you have a team for uh, for the tournament? Well, uh, to begin with, are you interested in participating in the tournament at all? Because I guess it's understandable uh, if you are not. Uh, really interested if you don't have a team, uh, but yeah. Uh, uh -huh. No, you're not good. Ah, don't worry. There's a lot of people that are not precisely like amazing at the game. Uh, I think the most important part of the tournament is just having a good time. Um, yeah, it's just having a good time. Uh, like for example, whenever I uh, play the tournament, I like to go for uh, for challenge combos and stuff like uh, things that I wouldn't normally do. Because um, because I find them kind of enjoyable and a bit exciting. It's like the, the tournament special. Um, in fact, a couple of months ago, I had like um, uh, a branchless Minotaur. Um, I it was Minotaur something of the Shining One. Uh, unfortunately, I forgot to to back it up, but I wanted to upload it to YouTube. So I guess I'm gonna have to upload the one that comes out of the tournament when the tournament happens. Uh, but yeah. With that being said, let's just go ahead and, and start. Uh, let's uh, uh, go here and get out of there. I press here, transfer. Yep. There we go. We are still there. Uh, and switch to tiles because people don't like console. Um, oh yeah, I, I set up a, no, a new donation goal. The Steam Link released and I need that in my life. Um, yeah, I really, really, really do need it in my life. Um, hello, monkeys. Yeah, uh, good to see you around. Late soup. Yeah, I guess it's late for you. Not quite late for me. It's only like um, 8 p.m. for me. But for you, it must be like 3 a.m. or something. It's crazy. You should really go to bed. Um, but yeah, here we are with my character with a 21 armor class, cloak of fire resistance, Ground of Dire Bepreva, Shadow Scales, which are probably what I'm going to be going for uh, for the rest of the game. Yeah, the Tower Shield of Resistance was huge. Uh, a huge find on this character. I'm very happy that I found that. Um, so yeah. What happens if I just put on the Shadow Scales right now? Let's see. 7% on Passage of Galubria, 2% on Starburst, uh, and the rest of them are like 1%. So let's give it a try. 26.6. I don't think I mind that much. Yeah, I don't think I mind that much. Um, I lose resistance to corrosion, and I don't think I have a. Yeah, I don't have a resistance to corrosion item. Um, but the um, Starburst is kind of not really castable if I do that. Um, and of course, Passage of Galubria is also not really castable, but the rest of them are extremely. Um, extremely well um, positioned, uh, but for now I guess I'm gonna go back to to acid scales. Um, yeah, I think I'm gonna train this to 12, and then I'm gonna train more fire, more conjurations, maybe all the way up to 15, so I can cast the starburst uh, in that uh, set of sh of shadow scales, and then we should be good to go. Maybe I I'm going to also train some translocations along the lines. Uh, let's take a look at that. Let's take a look at that. 
Uh, but yeah, don't worry about uh, not wanting to participate in the tournament repo. If you ever are interested in that, just let me know, and um, we can we can make a team. I am not particularly competitive in tournaments either. I might be good, but I am not tournament good. Um, I feel like in order to be really good at the tournament, you need to uh, have a mental state that can um, allow you to sit here for like 12 hours a day for the entire tournament and like grind out win after win after win without like dropping uh, a lot of characters like you need to streak you need to do nemalex's choices you need like a lot of variety to a lot of challenge runs it's it is really hard to win a crawl tournament with the rules as they are um and i would definitely like to see like a a variant that is not so punishing on the players that don't have uh, the will or the ability um, to to play for 12 hours a day for the entire tournament. Um, so yeah, it is what it is. Oh, wait a second. That is not what I wanted to do. Huh. Okay, maybe I shouldn't do that. Do I not have... Yeah, because I remember I had Ignite Poison. I must have typoed into Confure Flame for some reason. I should forget that right now. For Confure Flame is borderline usable in the early game. Uh, past the early game, it is not usable, like, at all. It is a pitiful spell, unfortunately. Oh, do I have resistance to electricity? I guess I do. They're still hitting me pretty hard. Oh, yeah, the the song from a video game. Let's take a look at that. I almost forgot. Um... All right. Uh, I hope that it go goes okay. I am not a fan of the vocals. Yeah, if it if if it's like seven minutes of this, I don't think I can I can do it. Not because I find it like displeasing or anything, but I just don't like that um, that I feel the vocals overlap with my voice. That's definitely something I do not like. Oh, I, I think I remember this vault. I think I've done this vault before, I think it has been awful before, and I think it has come close to killing me before. So I think the correct thing to do is maybe not do that. Um... Okay, for the Lich, we should be fine just using Starburst. Okay, good usage of Link there. Um, definitely pretty good usage of Link. Allowed me to juke some things. Well, allowed me to juke that Orb of Destruction, so I avoided taking a lot of damage from it. And now I am within melee range, I can just like uh, either punch the Lich, or I guess whack the Lich with my Demon Whip, or we can uh, do something else. But fortunately, using the Whip was um, more than enough. Um, sure, let's get some of these. Maybe not 12. Uh, maybe let's get a 8 of that. And um, let's also get 8 transmutations. And after we're done with those two things, I'm gonna go back to Conjurations and Fire Magic to see if I can wear the Shadow Scales. Um, what's the button for Starburst? I think it's G. Yeah, it is G. Okay, uh, a lot of people do not like Star uh, Starburst. I have to say that I didn't like it so much until I tried it, because in theory it doesn't sound so cool, but when you actually start using it, uh, you can very quickly notice how good it is. It, it's just like a bolt of fire that hits more things, um, which is obviously really great. Oh, are you like fire resistant or something? Okay, it's not. Alrighty. I don't think I need to carry around the Ring of Cold Resistance. Fortunately, I think I am uh, well set off in that regard. Ooh, I got super poisoned. Uh, fortunately for those cases, I have the Staff of Olgriff, uh, which still kills things pretty well, let me tell you. Um, 
And it also makes me immune to poison altogether, which is a pretty nice thing. Um, so I was I was looking at this. I was looking at the footage from. Um, oh, the, the music is too much. I am I am sorry, but like the music is too much. Um, okay, you you posted an alternate link. Uh, let's listen to this, I guess. All right, this is more like it. This is more like it. Um, yeah, something like with no vocals. No vocals makes the whole thing much easier for me. Um, so as I was saying, I was um, I was taking a, a, a look at the previous footage uh, to like crop it and eventually put it on YouTube, and I remembered that my very first uh, dungeon level had a couple of uh, a couple of shops, including a distillery with a bunch of very good potions. And now that I have a lot of money, I should probably go back and literally buy everything. Um, yeah, literally buy everything. An abandoned shop. This is what happens when you buy everything a shop has to offer. Uh, a shop has been abandoned. Obviously, you cannot go in. Your target is gone. That's what you get. The shop appears to be closed. Interesting. Um, yeah, the, D, the this D1 had some crazy things. Um, fortunately, other than the potions, I think that's... Um, all that I really have to buy. Uh, I didn't really forget anything else. Um, so yeah, let's go back to depths. And um, I didn't do the entirety of Bolt 5. In fact, I did very little of it. Um, fortunately, I don't think I'm gonna have to ever go back to it again. Um, Yeah, since I already have the rune, I don't really need to go back to um, to Bolt 5 for any reason whatsoever. And I can just like kill things in Depths, uh, kill things in Sot for, for more experience. And to be completely honest, I don't even need more experience. Uh, when it comes to experience level, that is, I would definitely appreciate some more experience in the skills department. Because as you can see, like I kind of have like an endgame Thing that I can do that wins me the game, right? Which is like where the shadow scales hit things with the demon whip and just win the game like that. Um, but I also kind of want to be able to cast like starburst. Um, so so yeah, I still need a bit more experience to be able to do that. Okay, a lot of chefs, uh, a lot of monsters, and myself getting shafted tonight. Uh, we have Sticky Flame for the Urmage. We also have um, Toxic Radiance for all these Sprigans and stuff. Okay, I'm just gonna wait a bit more. A Juggernaut? Well, that's kind of bad uh, for me. Yeah, I'm not particularly tanky, so a Juggernaut that hits me really hard will hit me really hard. Hmm... Um... <laughs> Okay, I think it's a good time to use some acid. Ooh, the Juggernaut is almost dead. That is a bit astonishing to me. I guess I underestimate the amount of damage that you can really squeeze out of Ignite Poison and uh, Toxic Radiance. It really is like a like an endgame combination. Oh wow, this ring is awesome. Uh, this ring is so much better than this. It's it's that, but it also gives me Cold Resistance and Four Armor class. That ring is got tier for for my character i can't believe that i was about to to drop it then the reason why i was about to drop it is because when i saw that the monster had it i thought that it said ring mail i didn't see that it only said ring uh so in fact i was a bit um surprised when it got out of picked up because i because i was like why would the game auto pick up a ring mail but it turns out that it was a ring not a ring mail um so yeah, here we are. Oh, look at that. I got shafted to depths 4. Uh, I've been getting shafted left and right with this character. Oh, also something that I also remembered uh, while I was reviewing the past footage is that I have a, um, a treasure trove that I didn't even mention in the, in the video. Um, but I do have a treasure trove available to me that I can just like go into and check out. And I am probably going to, to do that very soon. 
Uh, right. Uh, let's level up some intelligence. Um, oh, we have bodies. I don't have enough HP for that. Um, yeah, I would. I, I think I can take a fight against bodies at full HP, uh, even without any mana, but it would definitely be preferable for me to have more HP and more mana than what I currently have. Uh, wait, I have Gosak. Why, why am I worrying about that? He's in Brilliance. Um, and let's see, two mana. I can use that again and try to get mana. Uh, yeah, I, okay. Uh, what, I, what I currently have mana-wise allows me to do Starburst four times, which might be enough for uh, dealing with bodies. Okay, so far so good. Boris hasn't really done anything to me. Uh, if you don't know, Boris is a very high damage, unique, uh, very, very high damage. Like, uh, it's a Lich, but it's a Lich that's like a Lich Conjurer with Orb of Destruction, Bolt of Cold, Iron Shot, and Invisibility. Um, so yeah, really, really, really high damage, really high variance, very bursty, very dangerous if you don't have a good way to consistently deal a ton of damage to bodies um, in in a burst. Um, yeah. I have good damage, but I don't have bursty damage. Um, that's actually an issue that I've had throughout the entirety of this playthrough. Since I didn't really have access to Ignite Poison or anything, I didn't have um, access to exploding monsters after they were extremely poisoned. I had to wait for the poison to do its thing, um, which didn't really take that long, but it was also... Um, not as fast as just casting Ignite, Ignite Poison when something is extremely poison and just like directly killing the thing that's affected by the poison, uh, which is definitely much better. Mm, so yeah, we are kind of still in that... Um, we, we're still in that uh, same situation when it comes to monsters that are immune to poison. Uh, I would have to use repeatedly... Um, What's it called? I would have to use repeated starbursts to be able to kill monsters that are um, poison resistant or poison immune like that. If I cannot afford to use toxic radiance. All right, we're gonna do this again. Ooh, I, um, that's actually fine. Um, I'm just gonna walk through the fire. Uh, it's time for talk for um, yeah. Mystic Blast. I forgot the name for a second, but Mystic Blast pushed everything onto the fire, and so everything kind of just died like that. Um, that's um, a good way to like take advantage of of the environment. Like I used the Starburst to set a fire or to start a fire, and then I used um, Mystic Blast to knock the monsters away from me into the clouds of fire again. Oh, there's like crystal there, so I cannot really use the Starburst. Um, Starburst is kind of lame when it comes to when it comes to crystal mm, unfortunately mm, crystal will always be bad for you as a game is now it used to be that crystal kind of made all spells into positional magic spells because uh, when you were around crystal you kind of had to think about how to position yourself to get the most out of the crystal um, as it is right now it's just a hazard for you um, which is kind of lame. I definitely think uh, another spell should be brought back that um, retains the um, the crystal. Um, how could I put it? Um, um, the gameplay aspects of crystal as it was before. Yeah, I guess I guess LRD is that, but LRD was pretty much unchanged except for the fact that it no longer breaks the crystal. Ouch! A uh, 50 damage from uh, from a juggernaut. I guess it's okay. Um, well, it might not be okay actually. Let me use Cure on this one. Misses. Um... Oh, that is a good morning star. Yeah, that's a pretty good morning star. Um, definitely something that I would love to use early in the game. As it is right now, I don't particularly feel like I need it. Um, I, I'm probably not gonna pick it up, actually. 
Hello, Peacock and Brain. Uh, thank you for stopping by. Good to see you around. I hope you enjoy tonight's content. Um, we're going to use Asif here. Mm, I want to be able to hit the, the Golden Dragon and... Uh, Okay, I don't think I'm gonna be able to. I would. I wish I could hit these two uh, or these three, like the Juggernaut, the uh, Spark Wasp, and the Golden Dragon. Um, <clears throat> well, I guess I'm gonna just like um, not hit the Spark Wasp because it's almost dead and it's standing on on a cloud and I have Toxic Radiance, so it's like extremely difficult for it not to die. Okay, I am low on HP because those Juggernauts hit me for like 150 damage, pretty much. Um, but I am uh, in a pretty good position, uh, leaving that aside. There is one thing that I wish I had and I don't have, and that is Irradiate. Because I think Irradiate would solve a lot of issues that I have right now. Like, uh, Liches and stuff like that are hard to deal with for my character. And I don't have bursts of damage with the Vampiric Demon Whip. Uh, so Irradiate would help on that regard. Um, and it would certainly help for these tentacled monstrosities. You, re uh, you remember me wishing the current Sumo champion would win a while back? Uh, yeah, Terunofuji actually didn't win the tournament, but he did um, make it to the highest possible rank in, in Sumo. I was watching that, uh, obviously, over the weekend. Uh, like I, I think I watched all 15 days live, which is not something I normally do, but I was very excited for uh, for the current tournament. Um, it was a pretty good tournament. Uh, the first tournament that I've seen Hakuho complete ever since I started watching Sumo. Um, Hakuho is um, the greatest of all time in Sumo. Like, it's not even an exaggeration. Um, so it was the first time I saw him complete a tournament, and he was competing against uh, Teruno Fuji, which is uh, quite probably the greatest comeback history uh, or the, the greatest combat, uh, comeback story uh, in um, professional sports history. Like, uh, the dude was pretty much, in, to put it in boxing terms, in case any of you know boxing, um, it was like the dude was a world ranker, um, and then he had to retire and then come back and start all over again from being like not even ranked in your country and then made it to world champion. That's that's kind of how it was for for Teruno Fuji uh, because of like um, disease and and other ailments. Yeah, he has like diabetes and he had like a kidney stone and a lot of. A lot of really bad things that can happen to your body, which is kind of surprising to me because he's just like three years or four years older than I am. He, I think he's like 29 or 30, um, and he's already suffered all of that. It makes me kind of glad that I have never had to deal with uh, that kind of severe um, illness in my life. Uh, if, as far as I can remember, uh, I think the, the worst thing that has happened to me uh, medically-wise um, or like in that aspect is like pneumonia when I was when I was young, um, but I it was not that bad. Believe it or not, I had pneumonia and it was not that bad. Like I I didn't like be I I didn't become like permanently weakened as a result of my pneumonia. Maybe it is because I I got it when I was young. Uh, I don't think I I would do that well. Um, today. Alright, um, good idea to start Dance Mara. It's always a really, really good idea because uh, if the real Mara is next to you, you're gonna bring it uh, up with you. And if the real Mara is not, then you just got away because the, the summons won't uh, come along with you if you go upstairs. Uh, it is true for mana summons, uh, even the, uh, your clone, um, and it is also true for like any other someone in the entire game, uh, except maybe, and only maybe for um, Beog and Jeredelemnul summons, which are kind of special case. And that's why I said maybe, because they're not really summons. They're like permanent allies uh, that were given to you by your god. Um, so it's, it's kind of complicated. New money is pretty serious. Yeah, I was like uh, 14 and... Um, 
my room was kind of like not insulated properly and no one like ever realized and i was just like coughing uh every day on school for like six months until uh, until the teachers were like sick of it and they were like you need to go to the doctor so um so i go i went to the doctor and like i got like uh, x-rays on my lungs and stuff and they realized that i had pneumonia and i i missed school for a week and i played a lot of video games uh so i guess that was okay um yeah i i, and I guess it was also okay not dying that is definitely something that um that is often undervalued uh nowadays yeah not dying is pretty nice so yeah, I have uh, a treasure trove that I haven't even checked. Uh, let's see. Trove. Uh, what do you want? Ooh, okay. You need the Spriggan's knife. We can do that. No big deal. Um, in fact, I have it in my wish list. Let's go buy it. I, I thought that I was going to use it, uh, but then I decided that I didn't really have to use the Spriggan's uh, knife. Um, okay, I'm, I'm full in my inventory. I think I'm not gonna have to use this anymore, fortunately. Um, and I think that I might be able to get away with wearing the shadow scales now that I have trained all those things. And yeah, that looks pretty good. 7%, uh, um... 7% passage of Glubria, 8% Starburst, and they're gonna like even keep going lower. Uh, so I think I can get away with using it uh, for the rest of the game, which gives me uh, very good defenses now. 30 armor class is quite a lot, uh, so we can say goodbye to these as well. And we can also use all my scrolls of enchant armor that I have uh, found throughout the game. I can use those. Oh, maybe before I use them? Oh, wow, it's only two of them. Uh, well, that's kind of an issue. I thought there would be way more. Um, it's not really an issue. Like, I don't need um, anything fancy to to win the character. I think I mentioned it yesterday. Or not yesterday. Last time I streamed, I think I said that with what I currently have, I can win the game. It would be kind of painful, but I definitely could win the game. Um, so anything that I get on top of what I currently have is just like a like a bonus. Um, so where is the trove? Um, oh, you don't know how to get there. How come? Why? Oh, because it's surrounded by deep water. Uh, I wish that was not the case. That is kind of annoying indeed. Um, I guess I can use a potion of flight for that. I, I, you can always rely on having potions of flight. It's going to be really hard for you to run out of those. Um, so I'm going to drop all of these and these and my scrolls as well. And I'll come back for those once I get out of the trove. Um, as long as we don't have unlimited inventory slots, we're going to have to do that. Oh, you don't have the item. Uh, I don't have the item. Perhaps you haven't completely identified the item yet. Okay, I didn't pick it up. I know what happened. Um, yeah, I didn't pick it up. So we, uh, so we go here, and we pick it up, and then we go back to the trove. Oh, come on. Okay, now let's try it one more time. This time, actually having the item. Uh, okay, so far so good. CBL is a pretty good spell. Haunt is pretty nice. Not for my character, but pretty nice overall. Manual of Armor. Alright, that's excellent. I still have a Manual of Conjurations um, that I haven't finished. Ooh, Orb of Destruction is juicy, especially with a Manual of Conjurations. I think we can say goodbye to Training Far Magic and just like end the, uh, finish the Manual of Conjurations um, and use or, um, Orb of Destruction as a way to kill um, Orbs of Fire and stuff. So far, this has been a pretty fantastic uh, trope. Um, we also got Irradiate, which is pretty nice. I could also like push Transmutations a bit more to be able to learn Irradiate, and then I can use the Irradiate Orb of Destruction combo. Um, so yeah, that I would say that was definitely worth it, because the Spriggan's knife was like 1700 gold or something. Maybe it was cheaper than that. Actually, can I, can I know? 
Oh, 1400 gold. And that's what it cost me. So, for 1400 gold, I got a manual of armor. That alone is, like, worth it, right? But I also got orbital destruction, irradiate, a couple of scrolls of teleport, and, um... I guess dragon form, but I don't really care about dragon form with this character. It is a pretty fantastic spell. It is definitely a hard carry spell, but it is not a spell that I uh, currently feel like I need to use with my, with my character. Um, it would have been a nice thing to get if I um, had found it earlier, of course. Um, in fact, earlier in this game, I was actually wondering what I was going to do regarding um, in-game level stuff. Um, fortunately, I don't think I'm going to have that issue anymore. Um, so yeah, okay, I can, I can definitely learn Body Radiate. And um, where is it? Orbital Destruction. Okay, 34% chance to miss cast orb of destruction. Irradiate says uh, 7%. Mm, I have Fireball. I had forgotten that I have that. Um, so yeah, we're going to train Conjurations, and then we're going to train Armor. And then if I haven't won the game by the time I run out of both manuals, I am going to turn on Transmutations. Um, so I can have more spell power on my Irradiate. Um, so yeah, I think we are ready to continue with the depths. Mm, let's actually go to depths 3. I don't think I finished this. Yeah. So how is everyone doing? Are you uh, excited for the tournament? Actually, has the tournament been announced at all? Maybe it hasn't been announced. And I'm just going by the tentative date that was mentioned a while ago, a couple of uh, weeks ago. Hmm. Okay, um, what do I have for a situation like this? I guess I now have Irradiate and I can use it. Yeah, I, I guess I have to, to mention that uh, you guys are lucky that I feel distracted by songs with lyrics. Um, because if I, w if I was okay with uh, songs with lyrics while I am streaming, you would, you would get super tired of the Guilty Gear Strive soundtrack. Um, I don't think it's particularly fantastic, but I definitely do like it a lot. It's very um, listenable. I think it would be much better if it was not so gibberish. Um, unfortunately, the composer doesn't really know English, uh, knows like very broken English. So the lyrics are pretty nonsensical or more like you have to like try really hard to tell what um, the author intended with the lyrics. Um, I wonder if people have that uh, same experience when they listen to me speak. Probably they do. Um, it's probably like an ESL thing. You're gonna miss out on the tourney because you will be a bit busy. Eh, sometimes life gets in the way. Um, I've been thinking that I, I would, you know, um, it's something that I haven't talked about on stream, uh, but I definitely would love to host a tournament of Dungeon Crawl Stone Soup. Uh, on the other hand, I also would like need to um, set up like a score page and stuff. Like people already have competed in Dungeon Crawl Stone Soup tournaments, so it's only um, normal for them to expect a certain standard of, of quality when participating in a tournament. Um, and um, if I cannot like replicate that experience, I don't think I would be able to host a tournament myself. But if I could, I would definitely do so. Um, oh, by the way, that ring is amazing as well. Fire resistance and fort evasion, and also Macabre Finger is pretty pretty good. Macaver Finger. I am going to buy that, probably. Uh, and also this ring, probably. Let's check the other two shops before making a decision. Um, I don't know what these spell or what these books have, uh, and I'm pretty sure that I don't uh, particularly care. Um, yeah... I don't, th yeah, these spells are decent, I guess, but they're definitely like spells that I do not care about with my character. When it comes to spells that uh, kill things and stuff, I am already very well set off. Um, ooh, that amulet is pretty good as well. 
Ooh, okay, so we have to choose between Macaver Finger, Mana Region, and the Amulet that's in this shop. Uh, poison Resistance is something that I do not currently have, and I think it's going to be very important for me to have it. Um, and Region is like icing on the cake in addition to the three strengths. So I'm guessing I am just going to buy this. And um, Magic Region was essential. Um when I didn't have a weapon skill, but now that I have a weapon skill, I can just like run out of mana and just like kill things with my weapon. And if things get really bad, I can always ask Kosak for um, for mana. And if things get like really, really, really bad, I can just like teleport or or blink or stuff. Um, so it's fine to lose um, mana region, even if it's something that I personally like quite a lot. Um, oh wait. 15 Scrolls of Identify. I should drop those. Yeah, after a certain point in the game, Scrolls of Identify are literally worthless. In this version of the game, that is. Uh, we are currently playing 0.27. Uh, well, it's 0.26 trunk, I guess. 0.27 trunk. Um, we, what will become 0.27 in like a week? If it, Yeah, it probably hasn't become 0.27 already. Um... But yeah, the point is that um, it's very unlikely that um, that thing that I mentioned will ever be changed. What did I mention? Hmm. I'm sorry, I completely lost my uh, trail of thought there. Yeah, no idea. Um, anyway, um, look at these resistances. Like, it looks crazy good to me. Uh, and we also need to use these scrolls of enchant armor, like right now, uh, on the shadow scales, because we are extremely unlikely to find anything that is better than, than these shadow scales. Uh, oh, look at that! This is uh, this is uh, depths five. It's definitely a level white vault. I can recognize it because I've seen kind of this uh, entrance before. It's just like an open area with a bunch of rooms and a bunch of um, very, very dangerous monsters and pretty decent loot too. Okay, I'm just gonna kill the floating eye right now. Uh, I am marked. Yeah, let's not be in a level uh, well marked. That's uh, usually a pretty good way to not die. Um, okay, I'm thinking that it's not a terrible idea to teleport right now. Um, or at the very least, I should haste. Oh, haste and brilliance is exactly what I need right now. Yeah, and now we are going to re-teleport. Better to do that when you have 200 HP than when you have 50. Uh, and then you have to pray that you do not die for, like, several turns in a row. Um, when you get to that point... Um, I, I, f I personally feel like very dissatisfied when I uh, survive uh, sketchy situations um, because I got lucky with the RNG after a certain point. Um, yeah, after a certain point, I feel like it's kind of deserved uh, that you die um, because... Especially at this stage of the game, when you have like all the tools to not die, and you are just dying because you choose not to use them, or you forget that you have them available and you, you just don't use them. Um, that's actually a pretty bad thing, um, if it happens to you. 18 Conjurations is excellent, by the way. That gives me 8% Orb of Destruction. It was 36 when I started uh, training, or when I got it, actually. I still haven't cast it, but I'm probably going to give it a couple of casts later in the game. Um, I need one more mana so I can use Irradiate and kill pretty much everything that's currently surrounding me. Okay, Irradiate time. Good. All right, excellent. Uh, an undeserving victory is still better than an undeserving loss. Oh yeah, that's something that I was also going to talk about. Um, I actually find the opposite of like an undeserving victory very frustrating. Um, as in, as in, like, oh, the monster got a double turn and then it hit me for for like double damage. Like, um, I think uh, particle phase. Um, he's probably not here at the moment, but Particle Face Betty recently had a death like that, um, where where he took like 
more than his maximum HP. He was at full HP and he died in a single turn to things that would normally not kill a character of his, uh, or a player of his caliber, but he just got extremely unlucky and he just exploded um, because the stars aligned and, and he happened to get in the way of the stars aligning pretty much. Ooh, look at that. We got the Ring of the Tortoise. I okay so here's the thing I'm not gonna buy that because I don't have enough money to bribe and bribing is pretty important uh, so yeah we're not gonna buy the ring of the tortoise um, but it's a pretty good ring obviously it's straight upgrade over a ring that I currently have so if I had more money I would buy the ring of the tortoise um, but yeah, I need to keep at least 3,000 gold. Very important for me to have 3,000 gold at hand uh, for... Oh, that's a lot of skulls on the screen at the same time. Spark Wasp, Shock Serpent, and um, Floating Eye. Very annoying. We're going to use a scroll of... Oh, I only have one? Okay, I have uh, one other scroll of fog on the floor, so we can use this one. As long as I don't have zero fog, we are uh, fine, or should be fine. You got ganked by Mara and Il's view on Shoals 4. Got four slams away from the stairs the moment I stepped down. Ouch. That is pretty rough. Definitely, um... Oh. Yeah, talking about, um... Things that could kill you. Okay, how long was I paralyzed? Only three turns. Well, I guess it's fine. But yeah, uh, that, um... Would have been a very unfortunate death for me. If it had been a longer paralysis. Um... For context, I once had a character uh, that had over 300 HP and over 40 armor class, um, and it was in SOT 5, and I had one item of resistance. Um, Okay, um, with that out of the way, um, as I was saying, I had a character that had over 300 HP and one source of resist of willpower. Um, it was a troll, so it didn't have a lot of natural willpower. I think trolls have three uh, willpower per level, um, which is the average, but this is still like not particularly good uh, for you um, to have that little willpower. Even with an item of willpower, you can still get absolutely dunked on by a monster with hexes. Which is exactly what happened to me with that character. Um, I got paralyzed by a Dreadlich, and the Dreadlich summoned like the only demon in the whole game that can be berserked, which is a hell beast. Um, well, not really demon. The demon. When I say demon, I mean demon that can be summoned by someone greater demon. Uh, so it summoned one of those. And there was a Moth of Wrath. So the Moth of Wrath proceeded to Berserk the thing, uh, and I died in, in five turns. I was at full HP, um, and I died at five turns because I got paralyzed. Uh, I got paralyzed for seven turns, but it didn't really matter that I got paralyzed for seven turns because I didn't even make it to, to turn number seven uh, anyway. It would have been kind of painful if I had made it to turn number 7 and then I would have died before coming out of paralysis because I had like a bunch of scrolls of um, blinking and, you know, the kind of stuff that you normally have at that stage of the game um, that would uh, save you from dying an awful death like that. Um, but yeah, it is what it is. It was a series of very specific unfortunate events, yeah, but it was also kind of my fault, because I should have seen it coming. Um, yeah, part of, uh, like, actually, the single most important skill in Dungeon Crawl Stone Soup is, like, learning how to assess and prevent risk. Um, I guess it's also a useful skill for, for real life, but in real life... Um, yeah, the, the things that you learn in Crawl kind of don't apply to real life that well. Um, but they, it's also like important to know that in real life you probably shouldn't drink um, the poisonous thing, right? Um, just like in, in Dungeon Crawl Stone Soup, it may not be a good idea to tab against that Itin, or to not have excessive amounts of willpower against a Dreadlich. Um, 
So yeah, I guess that was kind of my fault, but it still feels kind of lame because I had one item of willpower. I guess I didn't have two items of willpower, but uh, I don't know. I guess, I don't know. I don't know. Like, I feel like it's fair. I feel like it's fair. I'm just like salty because I was at full HP uh, and I don't think I should have died, but it is what it is. Um, sometimes you get unlucky like that. Okay, that's a good ring. Uh, I think I want to wear it. I think the slaying is something that my character wants because it's using a demon whip. Um, yeah, I think we can lose that. 30-13, and then I gain intelligence uh, and dexterity and two slaying. I guess I have a ring of slaying on the floor. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to roll with this for now, and we can drop the ring of protection. Um if I need to switch to having resistance to corrosion, I can actually just like put on that ring and I can like throw away the spear. Um, so this ring is gonna be here. So I can like uh, do this. Yeah, that seems right. All right, that seems correct. Uh, I just like to um, rearrange my rings. That's actually not something that I do very often, but I'm going to start doing it because I think rearranging your, uh, my rings will probably make it less uh, annoying for me to juggle them uh, whenever I have a character that needs to do so. That is, uh, fortunately, I don't really have that many characters that need to juggle rings Um Alrighty, so I think we are good to go. This ending uh, can appear in the final level of the dungeon and in the final level of the depths. Um, obviously, in the depths, it's like much nastier. We got several juggernauts and golden dragons, and uh, I even fought one caustic shrike, which is lucky because when they generate in a band, they are messed up. Like, you cannot beat that in a fair fight. Um, you need to. Um, you need to actually do some tricky things uh, to survive that. Uh, right, so where is the portal to Sot? Alright. Um, I guess we can train that to 16 just for round number. Um, and then I don't know what... I, oh, I, I did say that I wanted to train uh, transmutations. So we're going to train that to like uh, 10. Yeah, no, I'm, I would train it a bit more. But I feel like it would only be going to waste considering how I can already cast um, Irradiate pretty well. And I'm only really casting it for slightly more spell power. Um, obviously, the more spell power, the more damage, and Irradiate does so much base damage that uh, even slight amounts of um, even slight amounts of spell power go a long way even when it comes to increasing the base damage of Irradiate. Um, hello, Railbird. Good to see you around. Thank you for stopping by. You arrived just in time for uh, for me to finish my Ogre Fire Elementalist of Sif Muna. Look at that. Uh, Ogre Fire Elementalist, it, see, it says so there. Um, six hours, 35 minutes. Uh, so we have a, a Shard Strike, which is a really dangerous enemy. Um, it is potentially more dangerous than a Caustic Strike. I personally think it's not as dangerous, um, but it can definitely like make you explode with that throw icicle. It's a lot of damage on a monster that is extremely fast and can also hit you for 63 extra cold damage. Um, yeah, Gosak not Sif Muna and Ogre not Human. Oh, by the way, I uploaded this like a couple of months ago, but I completely forgot to showcase it. Um, I have a new emote for tier 3. I am really not expecting anyone to ever tier 3 me, but um, my emotes that I have in those slots are kind of like previews of what I will have as tier 1 emotes if I ever unlock the slots. Uh, so I have uh, an ogre. Yeah, since in this stream we are fans of um, ogres. Yeah, I like ogres quite a lot. I decided to upload an ogre emote. And, um, you know, Shrek seems to be like a, a trendy thing with the kids. So why not? Um, 
Gosag is the Sif Moon of money. Yeah, like Gosag actually does similar things to Sif Muna if you really think about it. Uh, for example, Sif Muna, um, you can use piety to quickly regain mana. With Gosag, you use money to buy a potion of magic and a potion of brilliance um, to one, not run out of mana that quickly, and two, regain your mana very quickly as well. Um, <clears throat> So yeah, in addition to that, like I guess there's the bribing thing, and there's also other very nice things that you get from good old Gosak that make him quite probably the best god in the game. There's a lot of people that agree with me in that regard that Gosak is one of the best. I don't know if I can like uh, say for sure that he is straight up the best, um, but he's pretty good nonetheless. A pretty powerful god indeed. Okay, pretty good. Yeah, you know what, let's just go upstairs. Bring this guy up with me. Um, I have a regen, so now I'm regening super fast. Um, much more fast, uh, much more faster than than my mana was regening uh, when I have the amulet of mana regen. So fortunately, I don't have to use that anymore because I finally got a weapon. Um, and yeah, I really do recommend everyone who is playing a... A spell caster or who is casting spells to at some point get a weapon because weapons um, just make the game much easier for you they make you able to kill things if you don't have um, if you don't have mana which is a thing that can happen uh, for a character without any skills that would allow them to kill things without mana when you run out of mana it's like a really bad situation um, but not for this one of course uh, Hydra Simulacrum are pretty nasty enemies. Oh, I am very glad that I didn't get grafted by the Tentacle Monstrosity. That would have been pretty awful. Alright. Pretty good. Pretty good. I like what we have here. Uh, I have this, so let's use it. Ooh, Orb of Fire. Okay, time to put a... Oh. I didn't want to do that. Uh, I didn't aim it correctly. Um, but yeah, time to throw some orbs of destruction at the orb of fire. Um, that also has a nice upside of blocking line of fire for the orb. Uh, so the orb of fire cannot malmutate me while there is an orb of destruction in the way. And I just threw like three of them. Uh, better save than malmutated. Yeah, look at that. I really love that spell. It's such a good spell. <laughs> um, so yeah, um, I think getting something that helps you uh, deal with orbs of fire is pretty good. I could theoretically use my melee or like might melee, um, but I think the correct thing to do is definitely to just um, use orb of destruction because it's a much simpler and cleaner solution to fighting an orb of fire. Um, melee is free, but it will also come bundled with the mal mutations that the orb of fire applies to me, so so yeah, that's not particularly the best. Um, let's see what we get. Um, I think I want Charming for this death cough. Okay, 58% chance to charm, and it has resisted three times. Four times. Okay, it took me five attempts to charm the death cough. Um, now let's hope that I find something to suicide it on. Yeah, the thing about death cops that uh, no one tells you is that they are super powerful allies, like crazy good allies. Uh, they are on another level because they are extremely fast, but they are not batty, so they will just like attack like five times per turn. Um, because they also slow enemies that they attack. Uh, so the the enemies are slow. The death cop is extremely fast, so it just keeps hitting and hitting and hitting. It's not particularly resistant or tanky. It only has around uh, 91 HP, as it says there. Um, but it is like super damaging. I've ha I've charmed two death cops that have killed an orb of fire. Like one orb of fire versus two death cops, and the death cops have one. And the best part about that is that the death cops slow the orb of fire. They just like punch the orb of fire, and the orb of fire is slowed. And now it's like a much safer fight for you, uh, regardless of uh, whether or not those guys actually kill the Orb of Fire. It's pretty crazy. Um, we are going to use Paralysis here. Yeah, wow, I got it first try. 
That's nice. Another death cough. Uh, maybe charming. Okay. Oh, it only took two attempts now. But yeah, we're gonna see the power of a death cough. I'm not gonna even attack that tentacled monstrosity. And look at that. It just got absolutely destroyed by the death cough. Um, so yeah, uh, something that you can also... Well, um, something that I would also recommend is charming every draconian that is berserked. That is why you get um, some evocations um, in the early game. Like I like I like having 10, but um, having 12, 15 evocations is pretty good. Um, and it really does serve you quite well for the entirety of the game. When you ran that simulation of two uh, cops wrecking a Norv of Fire, it was amazing. Yeah. They, it's really crazy how how good the death coughs are. Uh, and by the way, in case you don't know, you can run simulations in your local version of Dungeon Crawl Stone Soup. It used to be um, a thing that you could also do on on the servers. There was a special uh, Telnet uh, client or Telnet uh, server that you could connect to, and you could run simulations like that. But that uh, has been off for a couple of years now, unfortunately. I did, I really did like to run random simulations back in the day. Um, I guess I can do it off uh, off stream or not. Well, yeah, kind of off stream, but also off online uh, but I don't know it like kind of lost its charm its charm when I couldn't run simulations for other people to see on on the community uh, but I guess I can do it now um, if I was to run local crawl I might do that at some point um, mm, okay we're gonna use paralysis yet again and a normal destruction because why not oh it didn't kill the death cove I thought that it would kill um, because it deals a lot of damage. It's an extremely dangerous effect, uh, a normal destruction, especially against monsters. Yeah, against you, it's not... Well, it is pretty bad uh, against a player, but it's not like, oh, I am going to instantly die if that hits me, oh, unless you're like a really fragile uh, species. Um, but against monsters, since monsters don't have the same amount of HP or resistances uh, that the players do, defenses, um, against monsters it is it is much more of, a, of an instant kill button. Or if not an instant kill, it comes pretty close to being one. So definitely fantastic spell. In fact, it's so good that I have an emote for it. Um, yeah, in fact, I can I can actually like um, replicate my game in the chat. Look at this. Uh, yeah, that is my character. Uh, that's what I'm doing right now. All right, um, pretty good. So most of the draconians, except for the green ones, are. Um, vulnerable to poison not particularly weak but they do not resist it and as long as they don't resist poison they will explode to poison um, so toxic radiance still pretty good here um, if you have seen me play venom mages before the nerf of 0 0.27 you probably remember that i um, used all grabs toxic radiance and ignite poison all the way until sot 5 but as soon as i am done with sot 5 um, poison um, the case super hard. Um, I guess most poison spells, not all of them. There's uh, Noxious Bog. Noxious Bog, in my opinion, is a pretty fantastic spell, uh, even for um, even for extended. Yeah, in extended, I would definitely bring Noxious Bog because it's that good. Um, okay, what else do I want to train? Probably fighting. Yeah, the thing is that I don't know if I want um, the title. Ah, let's go for Conqueror. I haven't had a Conqueror game in this account, and it's only fitting for um, only fitting for a Nogger to be Conqueror um, because of that uh, girthy plus three um, aptitude in fighting. Yeah, uh, if you like, that's really the only reason that you will ever need to play um, a Nogger. The fact that they have plus three fighting is so strong. Um, HP is just like the the best stat that you can have in this game. Um, more HP means that even if you get absolutely destroyed, um, 
by an attack, even if you like take 150 damage in one turn, it means that you can still kind of react because it's very hard to take 150 damage in a in two turns in a row. Like you 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 need to be in a pretty bad spot for that to happen, but it's within the realm of possibility that happening once, like you just getting extremely unlucky and the monster's just like dumpstering you. In fact, it has happened on stream before. I've been walking around, being at full HP, and then Stagwa dual saps me while I didn't have fire resistance. And I was at full HP and I was left with like 8 HP or something. It was hilarious. Um, but I survived because I had that much HP. I think I was also playing an ogre. I don't remember if I clipped it, uh, but I might have. Is Sot a secretly Farquaad? Maybe. Maybe Sot is secretly Farquaad. Um, after all, in the lore... Um, I th I think the first game to ever feature a Norb of Sot um, has the, um, the... The lore was that um, Sot was a gnomish wizard, which kind of fits with, with Farquaad's personality, I guess. Um... He, uh, the gnomish wizard sought uh, created the orb and then soon banished. That was the flavor text for the game where the orb of sought was first featured, in case you didn't know. Um, yeah, we can do that. I ran out of mana, but I didn't run out of enemies. That is definitely always a bit of a bummer. We are going to go over here. All right, and we can go down again. And we can just keep doing Irradiate. Good old Irradiate. It's like the Axe of Spells. Like, um, not even joking, it is like the Axe of Spells. Because it deals a lot of damage to all the enemies that are surrounding you. So it's like a really, really good thing to have uh, in general. Hmm. Yeah, these guys are dealing damage to me. Do I have resistance to corrosion? I guess I don't, and I guess that would be why I am taking so much damage from these guys. Uh, 29? Yeah, I guess it might also have something to do with the fact that I'm getting um, destroyed by that purple draconian. Okay, that's uh, unsafe. We're gonna play this safely and um, just use a scroll blinking and maybe drink a couple of heal wounds. Yeah, maybe one. Okay, that leaves me at 118 HP. Maybe a couple of curings. Because I have much more curing than I do heal wounds. Um, Alright, that got a bit sketchy. Um, I guess I shouldn't have um, when I have 12, um, 12 corrosion. Yeah, it might not be the best of ideas to do so. Okay, that's a normal fire. Uh, we are going to try to leave. I got Subdued Magic, which is extremely bad. And in case you don't know, Subdued Magic makes you um, more likely to succeed at casting any given spell that you want, but the spells are also pretty weak. Um, oh, look at that. That's a nice message. So not one that you get very often. Um... Okay, I am I I want to kill these guys and then like go upstairs because I'm sitting on the stairs right now. I'm definitely no in no condition to fight the orb of fire. Uh, all right, so I need to get rid of subdued magic. Oh, I also got a strangely shaped body. Very nice. Uh, so let's get rid of these. Oh, I got clarity and two armor class in return. That's definitely very nice and convenient. I can't complain about that potion of mutation. Oh, look at that! I got two more armor class, courtesy of this Mr. Orb of Fire. Um, okay, let's bring it up. Ooh, um, the form body actually is uh, partially negated by the fact that I have um, these... Um, these scales. Like, uh, the form body gives me minus 5 armor class, the scales give me plus 4, so at the end of the day I only lose 1 armor class. Um, yeah, I think I don't particularly care to drink another potion of mutation. 
because it's not particularly a crippling mutation. It is like bad and I kind of don't, don't like having it, but it's not, oh, I need to remove it unless uh, I don't want to win or I need to remove it or I won't win. Like it, it will directly cause me to die. No, it won't. It's not teleportitis or, or berserkitis or blue revision. Um, nothing along those lines, fortunately. But yeah, that's that's those three are the ones that I just immediately remove. Um, on some characters, subdued magic is also a pretty bad mutation to have um, for obvious reasons. Especially like the characters that are just are walking around casting level nine spells. Those characters cannot afford to have subdued magic uh, paralysis. And again. Okay, um, I am not going to bribe anything until we are at a sot 5 uh, for obvious reasons. Uh, using a bribe here will like not particularly prevent me from, or will not particularly help me. I don't, I don't gain anything from using a bribe before sot 5 and I'm only doing sot 4 uh, experience, believe it or not. I usually don't do sod for experience, but I think this character um, deserves a better title. We can go all the way uh, to the Conqueror title. If we get to the title with the amount of experience that we get from sod anyway, I wouldn't, I wouldn't particularly grind for that title, especially considering how easy it is to get it normally. Yeah, I am a fan of getting um, unusual titles, not particularly rare titles. There is a lot of titles um, in this game, and there's some really rare ones. Like, there's people that have won with um, with titles for like the lowest uh, tier of title that you can get, which implies that they went through the whole game without training or training all the skills at the same time, so that they never they never level up something high enough to get a better title, which is like impressive. And it is also something that I am not willing to do pretty much because I feel like it would take me a while and it would not particularly be as fun as a normal um, game of Dungeon Crawl Stone Soupies. Um, I definitely do think it is a pretty fun game, uh, regardless of some of my grievances with, um, with some decisions that have been made. Um, recently, it's still nothing too um, much. It's nothing like it's a deal breaker for me. I guess that's a good way to describe it. Um, does that thing open doors? Actually, I don't know. Okay, it doesn't open doors. Now I know. Um, I'm just gonna step on that out of curiosity. It is a pretty good sky weapon. I would definitely use that if I didn't um, already have. Um, the resistances that matter to me. Okay, for this thing, we are gonna. Um, no, actually, we are just gonna like open the door, blink away, uh, do that, step here, do that again, do that again. Ooh, did I get tormented? Yeah, I definitely did. Uh, the curse toe is almost destroyed. Let's seal the deal with some acid. Yeah, uh, it has like no dodging. Uh, Curse schools are very non-evasive, so it's super easy for you to to kill one of those with um, with a one of acid if you feel the need to do so. Um, so yeah, yeah, this character got pretty good uh, at the end of the day. Fortunately, we found a couple of um, hard carry things. Um, that the game threw at us, um, that I was willing to train for, for sure, um, because I already had some hard carry things uh, ever since I started the game. Literally, D1, I already had Ignition and also Kubo's Refrigeration, um, so I could have used those to win the game. But the thing about uh, Body Ignition and also Kubo's Refrigeration is that they are not like... Um, like one spell fixes every issue that you may have. It's definitely not like that for those spells. Um, they fix most issues that you have, but there's going to be some situations against like, uh, for example, if you have refrigeration and you're fighting against um, uh, frost giants, for example, 
you are not going to have a good time if your only way to kill them is um, using Osokubo's Refrigeration. Yeah, that's going to be not pretty good for you. Uh, on the same vein, if you only have Ignition and you fight an Orb of Fire, that's also not going to be pretty good. And now you could, you could think to yourself, well, then get the two of them and maybe get something else. Um, the thing is that that um, line, while valid on some characters, especially characters that are going to be going for 15 runes, I would say that it's too expensive um, experience-wise on a troll, or an ogre rather, on an ogre, definitely even more so on a troll bot. Um, but I am talking about my current character, which is an ogre. So, um... Hmm, that doesn't look very good. Now nah, we we should be okay. All right, one of these guys was berserked. Let's see if we can charm it. Ah, really charm the black draconian while emitting a toxic aura. Maybe that's not such a good idea. Um. So, funny thing, not all dragons that appear here are uh, resistant to poison. Only a couple of them are. Most noticeably, golden dragons, fire dragons, and, and ice dragons are resistant. Um, quicksilver dragons, storm dragons, are not. So, if you have uh, strong poison magic, you might want to use it against those particular dragons. And of course, it also is pretty effective against Draconian Bands. Uh, that's why you see me mash on the Toxic Radiance whenever I am fighting uh, some of these um, Draconians. Yeah, it is pretty good at dealing with Draconian Bands. It will only leave you the green ones, and then you can kind of deal with the, with the green ones. Mm, Alright. Kidoki, pretty good. Um, ignition is also excellent for dealing with uh, with Draconians, of course. If you happen to have Ignition, that's a pretty good thing for Draconians. You just have to kind of maneuver them into being um, in the correct position for every one of them to like get dumpstered by by like four explosions or something. Um, charming. Oh, the purple, it's a purple Draconian. Yeah, that's unfortunate. These guys are not really hexable. You should not even attempt to hex them, because they have so much willpower that it's not really feasible for you to, to do so. Um, so this is the final level of the game, obviously. It's level 5 of the Realm of Sot. This is not really a character that I want to do extended with. I just want to win the character and have my streak of three and still have a 100% win rate on, on this account. Um, I am very pleased with my win rate in this account, by the way. Um, I know that I've only played two games to completion and that I might uh, not win this one, but I think it's uh, very likely that I will win it. As I always say, the early game is kind of the hardest part of the game, and once you get past the early game, you already have the tools to not die. You just have to put them into use and um, stop and think about what are you going to be, to be doing in, in any given situation where things might get kind of dangerous for you. And that is that is the key to winning this game. Um, of course, if you don't know how to um, assess threats and like then play around uh, those threats and save yourself from situations where uh, you would die if you don't make the correct choices, well, uh, that also comes with experience. Uh, so yeah, don't be demotivated if you if you fail to do so. Um, the first couple of times that you get to this point in the game, um, because it's it's all a matter, uh, it's all like a part of the experience. Uh, I know that it was like that for me. I I remember getting to Sot and dying. I didn't win the first time I got to Sot. I see all people um, getting to Sot and winning in the first attempt, and I am kind of like. I feel like they don't really get the full experience if they. Um, if they don't get too sought and then they die to something that they um, grossly underestimated. Um, but I guess it's also nice. Um, it's also nice to get a win on your first attempt, and it would probably motivate a lot of people to continue playing. 
uh, which at the end of the day is a pretty good thing for the game because um, the game is only as alive as the community being uh, being a roguelike, especially a roguelike with like um, a community-based development. Yeah, that's that's how I would call it. Um, no one is getting paid for for doing this, so uh, they only do it out of interest and. Um, appreciation for the game i guess uh, so if there's no new players there's eventually not going to be any uh, developers left which would be extremely bad for the game so i guess it's nice to be welcoming to new players not only uh, when it comes to the game but also when it comes to being a part of the community and like helping them and not being elitist or toxic um, that kind of stuff at least that's what i think uh, a lot of first wins with Mibe, you would imagine. Minotaur Berserker, you seem to not realize how scary some monsters really are. Yeah, um, I feel like Minotaur Berserker offers a very... I wouldn't say easy, but it's like a different experience, for sure. Um, it's not It's not really... Mm, it's not really like the same to win a Minotaur Berserker and to win a Mummy Fighter, for example. Like, they are drastically different things. Okay, these are annoying, so I'm just gonna, like, drink um, Mutation. It's like a lot of bad mutations that are not particularly terrible, but... Um, but yeah, I kind of want to get rid of the minus 4 intelligence. Oh, robust! And Berserk Kitties too, that kind of sucks. But robust! I am going to roll with it. Um, who doesn't want to have 353 HP? Like, you cannot say no to that. Um, oh, I maxed uh, fighting. Let's go. Um, so what do I want to max now? I guess I can turn everything on. I'm going to turn these two first. I'm going to turn them on first. A Dreadlich, my uh, worst enemy. One of these guys killed my troll, as I mentioned a couple of minutes ago. Um, this one has 0% chance to paralyze me, thanks to my uh, extra willpower, which is pretty nice. Definitely very appreciated. Um, okay, let's do a bit of the good old um, Acid. Yeah, I was thinking, because I don't really have that many charges of acid yet, and I don't want to run out of them until I run out of enemies down there. Oh, that reminds me that I should do Brife Branch. I always forget to do it, but we are going to do it. Uh, yeah, there we go. That's two friendly orbs of fire. Oh, look at that. What is going on? Um, is that six orbs of fire on the screen? Am I is are my eyes playing tricks on me? No, it's actually six orbs of fire. Wow, and I've already killed like three of them uh, from SOT5. That would have been an insane SOT5 when it comes to mutations. But fortunately, I have the Wonders of Gosak, so I will only really have to fight one of those. Um, I have two, oh, actually two of those. Uh, two of them are neutral and two of them are my, my allies. Um, so I, uh, and they will like stall against each other for literally forever um a normal fire is literally incapable of killing another normal fire but at least it means that it won't be chasing me it would just like try to uh, i think i think um monsters are smart enough to not use things that are um other monsters are immune against uh, like, for example, a normal fire, I don't think it will try to do anything against another normal fire because it's immune to literally everything. Then a normal fire is immune to itself. Um, it's immune to fire. Uh, it is um, immune to magic. And that's it. Like, all that it can do is shoot you with fire or malmutate you. So uh, a normal fire is immune to a normal fire. Gosak makes it rain. Yeah. Yeah. Um, this is not particularly the best situation for me. Hopefully I can kill that Orb of Fire before it gets too close. Oh, come on. That uh, Orb of Destruction um, missed. 
I think I want to do the Gito move. Uh, in case you don't know, the Gito move is using Mystic Blast to push away a, a monster that was missed by a normal destruction to like push it away from you to make the normal destruction actually hit the monster. It's like it's like such a cool move, but it's like very situational. It's all it's almost um, never really a thing that you can rely on. Mm. Okay. How many bad mutations do I have? Yeah, we're okay, actually. I haven't really gotten anything too bad. Wow, I, I still can't believe there were six orbs of fire there. That was insane. Uh, irradiate? Oh, I don't have mana. Well, let's fix that. Uh, actually, let's fix that even beyond by drinking some brilliance. Yeah, we can do it until these two guys die. And that is the power of Irradiate. Irradiate might not particularly be um, as good as it used to be. Like, it used to be insane. <laughs> Look at these orbs of fire. They are... They are... Confused. They don't know what's going on. They're just, like, chilling there. Uh, I wish uh, I could pick up these things manual Or automatically, without having to... Uh, like, go here and pick them up manually. It's kind of annoying, but unfortunately, I cannot auto-travel because these monsters are not particularly my friends, so the game doesn't let you auto-travel. Like, there are monsters nearby. Ultraviolent 4 mentioned there being a rare 10. Orbs of Fire, Sod 5. Never got it myself, but I think you did. I think I did. I think I did. So what happens is that every one of the sectors of the, of the bolt, like, you know, there's like um four sectors i guess two longs um it has like um a certain amount of m extremely like dangerous monsters that it can choose from like liches and electric golems and orbs of fire and killer clowns and um and yeah that's pretty much it liches orbs of fire electric uh, electric uh, golems and killer clowns I might be forgetting something, but I think those are like the most dangerous things that Sod can place. So if you get unlucky, all of those things are gonna be orbs of fire. Um, it can happen. <laughs> it can happen. It is indeed a pretty rare thing to happen, uh, but it can certainly happen. Oh come on! Don't don't kill me, please. Kill the thing instead. Wow. They they didn't hesitate to. No, stop! Don't do that. Are you insane? Oh come on, that is that is unreal. Like why are you doing that? Okay, this is pretty funny. This is pretty funny. Like uh I don't know if I should consider this to be a bug, but I kinda like that these horse of fire are just like walking around doing like death race shapes and stuff. <laughs> um I, I also don't like that they sometimes attack me. I feel like that's um I don't know. I feel like Gosak should not uh, do that. Oh, I ran out of Brife. I wonder if I should do it again. Well, probably not. I'm gonna save the Brife for the dungeon. Um... Okay, didn't hit the Killer Clown. Hitting a Killer Clown with a Norb of Destruction is pretty difficult, actually. Uh, for obvious reasons, they blink like pretty much every action or two. So, yeah. You need to get pretty lucky. To hit them with uh, a orb of destruction, much more so to actually kill them only with orbs of destruction. You cannot bribe pan lords. You can bribe pan lords. There is a couple of them, like only the named ones. You can't bribe. Um, so if you like ninja Lomlobon, for example, and then Lomlobon finds you on the orb run, you cannot nin you cannot bribe Lomlobon. Um, but if you have, like, randomly generated Joe the Pandemonium Lord, you can definitely bribe that particular Pandemonium Lord. Um, and that is why it's not a terrible idea to bribe on the Orv run. Um, definitely could save you from a nasty fight or two. Oh, I think it's some of the curse, though. Oh, that sucks. Oh, that really sucks. And the worst part about this is that all three of those are like summons. So I, I have to... Oh, mm, I only have one Fogu. And I have like a requirement or something. Oh, it was Holy Worth. That was oddly convenient. I didn't know what it was, actually. 
but it was definitely a pleasant surprise that it happened to be uh, a scroll of holy worth. Um, I don't have enough acid anymore, so I guess we are gonna have to shoot some orbs of destruction at the uh, cursed toe. Yeah, there we go. Excellent. Ouch. Um, blink. And we are going to control blink away from here. Mm, okay, so uh, yet again, perks of being a nogger, especially a nogger with robust one. I have 355 maximum HP. Like, I am at low HP, like really low HP, and I am at 91 HP. So that is definitely beautiful, uh, very pleasant. Please don't fireball me. Yeah, you never know with these things. But I guess I can just sit here and uh, let my guys just, like, destroy those Draconians. These orbs of fire that, that are playing Tetris are definitely going to kill anything that comes their way. Um, oh, that's pretty funny. Like, <laughs> why why are they making Tetris shapes? Um, all right. Uh, we should step away from that and from this and we can cast Toxic Radiance again. Mm, maybe it's time for me to Haste and Brilliance. Yeah, that's pretty good. Haste, Resistance, Might and Brilliance. I don't have enough money to bribe. Well, for uh, hopefully by the time we are done here, I'm going to have enough money to bribe again. Um, you suddenly feel drained of magical energy. Well, that is unpleasant. Um, I have um, a potion of mana, so I'm going to use that because it's literally the end game. You know the rule of the end game. If you have consumables, now is pretty much the best time to use them. Um, yeah, the consumables are not going to do anything for you once you win the game. You don't get like extra points or anything. It would be interesting if the um, the more scrolls of blinking that you had... No, that wouldn't work. It's, it would be more like the least amount of times that you um, control blink in your playthrough, the more score you have. I think that should be implemented. Um, yeah, I wonder how that would change the speedrunning metagame. Maybe people would hesitate to blink because it would lower their score and they would die as a result of it. Uh, wow, what's up with that? Oh, I got, uh, I got glow. What happened there? Why did I get glow? Uh, I think something stepped on a sod trap and gave me, like, omega contamination. That, uh, that's probably what happened. Um, I think I, I am just gonna drink mutation. Like, these these uh, mutations are not awful. In fact, I have a really good mutation. Uh, so if it was not mm, the end game, I wouldn't drink mutation for these ones. Maybe for Berserkitis, um, and especially even like especially not with uh, with robust because robust is pretty good. Um, let's go one more time. Oh wow, I haven't lost. Oh never mind, I lost. Uh, I lost Berserkitis, which is what matters. Yeah, the minus two dexterity and strength don't matter at all. Mm, all right, pretty good. Okay, one more time. I like target. Oh, never mind. It was because I targeted it with an orb of destruction. That's why. That's why I got that message, um, or that's why it had that um, indicator. I like target. Mm. For those statues, if you happen to have um, LRD, LRD is a really good spell. Wow, I think it uh, bites me th like two times in a row. Yeah, you become entangled in the net. You be you feel unable to drink, and a natural silence engulfs you. If I was not the kind of character that I'm currently, um, that I currently am. That would have just straight up killed me immediately. And uh, against multiple enemies, that also would have straight up killed me. Because not being able to drink potions or read scrolls or cast the spells is like a pretty good way to die. 
Um, so yeah, that's that's messed up. Yeah, it's just like you cannot even drink cancellation because you cannot drink potions, so you cannot get rid of all those bad effects. Um, that was a nasty combination of pies by the killer clown. Fortunately, everything was out of the vault already, so there was nothing really here to. Um, to capitulate on the um, on the fact that I was like seriously crippled and uh, fortunately I am powerful enough with my one-hander to be able to kill our killer clown without really taking much damage or any damage actually um... okay I think I can go for one more all right easy dreadlich uh, now um, there's a couple of statues there. I can't just like not kill them, but I kind of want to. Uh, I kind of want to do that. Like I want to kill them. I've already killed everything. Might as well um, finish the job. Oh, I ran out of mana. Mm. Okay, I think I would like to. Paralyze the Ghost or the Moth of Wrath to prevent it from berserking these Quicksilver Dragons. Uh, because if it does that, that would be really, really bad for me. Um, Berserk Quicksilver Dragons hit kind of hard, especially considering that I uh, I am not the paragon of tankiness with this character. I only have 31 armor class. Um, and I also... Um, no, that's, that's pretty much it on... On other regards, I am pretty well. Um, I'm pretty well set off. I have good shields. I have good resistances. Mm. Okay. One of these days, we're gonna, gonna we're gonna be able to kill those two statues. Getting double statue is messed up. Like, how are you supposed to deal with that? It it feels awful. I, you won a 15 rune game about a uh, week ago, and you had to kill six pan lords on the on the orb run. Sounds like you got um, fairly unlucky in that orb run. You know what? It's probably not a good idea to to do that that way. If I want to do it, I need to um, I need to run towards the thing and just like. Um, Need to run towards the thing and use irradiate. That's probably the best way to to kill um, that thing. Okay, that's kind of fine. Okay, we killed one of the statues. So now I only have to get rid of the orange crystal statue, which is unfortunately the more annoying one because I step into its line of sight and it immediately shadow creatures. And of course, shadow creatures in SOT 5 will give you dragons, draconians, uh, and if you're especially unlucky, it will actually give you like dangerous things like cursed toes or, or liches or the rare orb of fire. Um, Oh, let's see here. We have Ice Blast. I'm going to use that. And again. All right. Um, so lately, I've um, one of the content creators that I watch, um, he's called Sejem, um, and he makes fighting game content. He was invited to a chess tournament, so I was watching him play, and that kind of like inspired me to, to do some more uh, chess puzzles. I'm not very good at it. I feel like I um, sometimes miss some lines that that I shouldn't miss, um, but I definitely find them funny um, and enjoyable. Oh, I got uh, enough money to bribe yet again. That's pretty nice. Uh, let me pick this up. All right. Uh, so with everything that. Um, there's only one thing left to do, and that is picking up the orb. You would watch the chess streams. I might do that. Uh, I might do that. No, no joke. Um, I've been thinking that um, there seems to be a fair amount of overlap uh, between dungeon crawl, stone soup, and chess. So maybe if I stream chess and crawl, 
I will be able to like introduce um, chess people to crawl, maybe like maybe mm. or yeah, the very least is like something that I that I can do uh, when I just don't want to boot up crawl. So I guess it's nice to have an alternative. Um, but yeah, with that being said, let me do the thing. I'm going to start a prediction. You know the usual, amount of Pandemonium Lords in Orbron, two minutes, start prediction. Uh, so uh, please go ahead and start your predictions. I am going to step away, I'm going to run some ads, I'm gonna get some water and I will be back to finish this character. And by the way, we immediately got a Hellion spawn, like right away, that's kind of unlucky. Um, yeah, that's kind of unlucky and annoying, but we can deal with that, no big deal. Uh, so, I am going to step away for a second, be right back, don't go anywhere. All right, thank you for your patience. Uh, we're ready to actually finish this. Um, so good luck with your predictions. Uh, let's just kill that Hellion real quick and get out of here. Um, oh, let's just like... Oh, come on. I guess I can do this to make them like all... Teleport to different parts of the level. Um, I'll leave my Tetris Orbs of Fire behind. <laughs> they don't really matter that much. Like, um, Orbs of Fire are definitely capable of keeping up with you when you have them as permanent allies, because they're fast. So no matter how fast you are, unless you're a Spriggan, they're always going to be able to, to keep up the pace, um, even after a fight. But I don't really need some Orbs of Fire allies. Um, actually, I have the the correct spell to use uh, in this moment is Mystic Blast because Mystic Black Mystic Blast uh, pushes things out of the way, um, and it just so happens that is a pretty good thing on the Orbron where you don't really care about actually killing things. You you just want to get out of here as soon as possible. Um, Oh, I never finished Depths 1. Well, it's too late for that. Alright, we're gonna uh, bribe Branch here. Oh, no! I didn't want to bribe the, the denizens of the Depths. Why, why can that happen? That sucks. You shouldn't be able to bribe people on the other side of the branch. That kind of sucks a lot. Um, like, if you're standing on the steps to depths, you should be in the dungeon, because you are. 
you're not in depth. Um, oh, well, that's a shame. It doesn't really matter. I don't think I'm going to lose uh, from that. But it definitely is quite an annoying feature uh, that I don't particularly like. Alright, let's do this, let's do that, alright. This character feels very good. It's definitely not the kind of character that just like runs around and kills everything. It has very powerful tools, but I feel like the tools it has are uh, pretty situational. Like for example, you cannot just like uh, quiver orb of destruction and just like mash that until you win the game. That's not how that particular spell works, but it's a pretty good spell if you are in the correct situation to, to be able to use it, obviously. Um, and I guess the same can be said of a lot of spells that this character has. Even something like uh, Toxic Radiance is also a situational spell despite the fact that it just hits everything on the screen because there's monsters that are immune to it. Uh, so yeah. All right, so zero Pandemonium Lords. I got lucky. Um, I really did get lucky. Choose prediction outcome. Ooh, no one went. F oh, someone went for one or less. Railbird went with ten channel points on one or less. That's a lot of value for Railbird. Uh, so I got one or less. I got zero Pandemonium Lords. Uh, so let's complete the prediction. I did get an angel. Uh, maybe the next time I'm gonna do... Will I get an angelic being in the orb run? Or maybe two angelic beings? Um, that might be a bit more interesting than just Pandemonium Lords. Because it seems that I always get lucky. Uh, with with the Pandemonium Lord things. Uh, so yeah. Uh, with that being said. Let's just... Um, yeah, it was a pretty nice run. Um, this will also be going to YouTube. I haven't uploaded anything to YouTube um, because I haven't like um, done the written guides for those things. But I've I've been backing things up ever since the uh, troll thing that that I forgot to back up and then I kind of lost the character <laughs> completely. So that kind of sucks. I don't want it to happen again. Um, so so yeah. Um, I guess it's nice because that troll went to Kawaru, and that gives me an excuse to try the new Okawaru ability that um, teleports you and one other monster to an arena where you fight like one versus one. Uh, that's pretty cool. Your browser's not working well with the predictions, so you would have better custom amount. Oh, that kind of sucks. Um, that kind of issue is really annoying. Have you considered trying a different browser? That might help. That might work for you. Uh, but yeah, with that being said, let's just, um, I guess Berserk. I want to Berserk because I am, um, I have Robust. So let's just win with 500 HP. You have escaped. Uh, so yeah, we escaped. Pretty good character, let me tell you. I definitely do think that um, before today, the character was actually a bit of a struggle. Uh, but after today, nah, well... After like the stream started, I started finding some crazy things. Um, I found like the rings that I currently have. All of all the three of those rings I found during this stream. Uh, I didn't have anything like that before. Um, so we went for a significant part of the game with like not great gear, uh, but we ended with like fantastic gear, just a straight up fantastic. Um, so yeah, I am going to continue playing. I am going to continue playing. I'm going to start a new character uh, right now. Uh, wait a second. Let's press this. All right, add stream marker. Um, 